Thank you, Dieter, for the awesome music, brother. This music has been lovely. Dieter, everyone, give it up for Dieter. Sorry, I have a life, Pratt. What? I see it in this chat. I see it in this chat. But I don't see it in this one. And this one's supposed to show me fan funding. There we go. Now I see it. It just glitched out. Awesome. Thank you, Ani, for the, for the $2 super chat. You're not allowed to have a life. You're a Trader Prad moderator. You're not allowed to have a life. And you're also late. So you remember what I said? Anytime you're late, your, your donation fee go up by another $2. So you now owe me another $2 super chat. You can pay me whenever you want. Pay me whenever you want, but you're late. You don't have a late slip. However, you know what? We'll give you, we'll give you a, a pass this time. Because you did tell me that you weren't going to show up to the stream today, but you still showed up. So we'll give you a pass this time. Next time you're late, it's $4. All right, movie time with Michael Noss, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know, Michael Noss is an absolute legend, a freaking legend. Uh, he's, he's a beauty. That's all you need to know. He's a beauty. He's the guy who helps me with everything with trade ideas. Anytime I need help with trade ideas, I message him, instantly replies to me, helps me out. He has amazing content on YouTube and on Twitter. Amazing content. Go check him out. That's his Twitter handle right there, at Michael Noss CMT. Amazing dude. He actually posted a video today about um, opening range breakouts, a strategy that I love very very much so he's going to talk about how to trade them better how to maybe spot them better so i am very interested in that i wish he told me he was making this video so i could have jumped in the video with him but hey we missed out on it maybe the next time uh that he's actually supposed to be on on our stream he's actually supposed to be on our stream as a guest host for one of these days uh we just haven't made that time yet but when we do we'll, we'll get that one ready so why don't we watch this movie over here uh let me get some water in me and we'll start this movie uh, volume controls, volume controls. Uh, water, agua. All right, before I go deaf, let me turn the down on my headphones. It's all about opening range breakouts and how this could help your trading. We're going to go into trade ideas and I'm going to show you how I built the settings for this exact study into that system i will share the link for this scanner oh. over on my substack so if you go to statsedgetrading.com you can sign up for the email list there you can go to my substack and check that out also while you're there i have a completely free trading course if you're new to trading and you want to learn more about it you can go check that out if you're a little bit more advanced but you want help building a trading plan i have a course that will help you build a trading plan that's based entirely on your goals your time frame uh, when you can trade, what you can trade, all of that stuff. You'll build a trading plan. By the end of it, you'll have a PDF that tells you when to enter, when to exit, why. Again, that beauty. you have built yourself and customized. This guy's a beauty. Exactly I'm telling you. For you. But without further ado, let's get into the study right here. First of all, a shout out to the person who made it. Where was that? I am going to butcher this. Concentrum Research. Con uh, Concretum? This study a long time Concretum ago. Research. Now. Um, February. Well, I guess not. Not there's that no. Long. And this was sent to me to take a look at. Yeah, it's not concentrum and kind of concrete of stuff. And this is what we ended up getting right here. We have this chart on the opening range break. Now, strategy. for those of you who know already, we we talked about the study. We actually had the study on our on our stream. We we dive deeper into this. We actually made the scanner exactly based on this study, and we use it. So Basically he's talking about, about that study uh, right now, uh, and then he's gonna dive into the scanner, which we already have built. So but I, I want to see if he did anything study. different. I will link the study down below if you're interested in reading it. It will be linked in my Substack as well if you want to read the whole thing and get all the exact rules. I'm just condensing this down for time, but I do think it was really good work that they did. What is an opening range breakout? So the idea is that you have the open of a stock, you have the opening range that's put in in whatever time frame you pick. They found that five minute was the most conducive, and I have a chart for that later. But you just mark the high and then you mark the low. The idea is that you're looking to break higher to buy 
that opening range or break lower and you're looking to short that opening range. And then what happens if you do that with some rules attached to it? And this is what the study talks about. Here's just an example. This would be a long setup. You have the first five minutes, sets an opening range on the next candle, breaks out. And then on the next candle, pretty simple, breaks, right? Pretty simple. The next candle. That's just the chart they had for explanation here. Here is an example trade where you have the first five minutes. The low is this line, this dotted line right here. And it's the low of this candle that you can see right here and they short, but you cannot do a trading test like this without a stop loss and a profit target. What they did for a stop loss was 10% of the ATR. So ATR stands for average true range. And all it basically means is how much does a stock normally move in a day? Let's take 10% of that. And that's going to be our stop loss. So what I think is happening here is you're getting this opening move one way or the other. And if the stock is going to break and go cleanly, you're going to get a trend all day. If not, you're going to get stopped out for a small loss. I think the power of this strategy isn't so much in its insane predictive power. It's the fact that you can have these opening range breaks that just tank all day, kind of as you see here. And your stop loss is very, very tight. In this case, the stop loss was this dotted line right here. Just like a lot of strategies out there, a lot of trend following strategies, the power is simply in the fact that when you're wrong, you're wrong small. When you're right, every now and then you're going to have a trade that just blows completely out of the water and makes a whole bunch of money. That's the idea that I'm seeing here. Here are the basic rules that we're going to put into trade ideas. Again, all of these were pulled from the study. Uh, price has to be over five bucks a share. The average trading volume. So he basically just did shares. the exact same thing and I did, but I, I kind of more than fifty cents. Meaning the stock has made to move made a couple changes to my scanner to to filter rate. out the the stock shitty stocks move, that I don't want to trade. What's, what's the point? You know that first black line that I showed that wasn't very good. That was just taking all of these opening range breaks, and that didn't work very well. So what they did is they went and they looked at relative volume. They said the higher the relative volume, generally speaking, the better. And this is what you want to see in a comparative bar graph like this. This is a robust uh, indicator, which means that the higher you went, generally the better, a little dip right here. But you know, as soon as you got into the really high relative volume range that end. So up I actually scan for stocks above three it's or five R vol. It depends on the, the day. Sometimes the I move it down to three. Sometimes I move it up to five. Depends on the time of day. Trade depends on the day itself. Risk. Nice push here to the, to the right hand side. Again, this is exactly what you want to see. So meaning adding relative volume counts. Now they add a relative volume in a way that just showing, you know, show me the top 20 relative volume names in the day. That's going to be a little bit hard to do real time. That's kind of my only gripe uh, with this individual name is knowing what that those highest relative volume ones were in advance. But what we're going to do in trade ideas is we're going to look at really high relative volume names and go from there. So again, back to this example, you can see that the line that barely does anything, this is without relative volume and the line up there that's with relative volume. There's a great takeaway, I think, just in this chart alone, ignoring the opening range breakout side of things is that if you're going to day trade, day trading things with higher relative volume, you're going to get more movement. That movement is going to translate to more profits. One thing that trade ideas does more profits, more profits. Well is we study relative volume to make sure that everything we're trading, everything our AI is looking at, for example, are high relative volume plays. Because even if the win rate doesn't end up being the best, the fact that you get these blowout trades every now and then is really what makes up for that graph. So, you know, right here, for example, this could have been a handful of trades that just really went well. And same right here, a handful of trades that really went well. And this is from 2016 until uh, the end of 2023, I believe. Now, this is chart here is just looking at the different opening range breaks, right? So the blue is the five minute. And then this orange right here is a 15 minute opening range break. And then the uh, line right here is the 30 minute and then the 60 minute. So it seems like five and 15 minute work the best. That makes sense because you get most of the movement in the morning and then things kind of die down. So a 60 minute opening range break, it makes sense to me. It doesn't perform very well because again, everything's kind of just, you know, taken out and there's your action for the day. And now the market's just kind of basing. Again, shout out to these guys, link in the description below. Uh, this will all be put in here, but let's pop into trade ideas and let's just grab the scan. I'm just going to go through and show you guys how I set up the scanner. Again, the link will be on the sub stack or you can just hit me up on Twitter or something. I'm sure I can get it to you. Oh, the fudge is this. How come mine doesn't look like that?
Yo, Michael Noss always gatekeeping stuff from me, bro. Michael Noss, why are you gatekeeping this? Mine doesn't look like that. I'm about to send this guy a message, Build dude. Build this and trade ideas is really simple. And the beauty of it is we've had this scan forever. This is just a lot of data that backs up the idea. What I do is you go in, you search when you create a new window and you can just type things. So if I type in opening range, you can see all of the, I have to spell it right. You can see all the different opening ranges that are right. I've here. played with all, all that settings, trust me. That's what the study <laughs> I've played with all the those best. settings. Opening range, five minute break. You can yeah. see happening kind of right in this area. So I'm just clicking these two opening range breakout and opening range break down. Now we go over here, we can see the price $5 a share, like it said in the study, average of daily volume, they had 14 days, we'll use 10. It's just going to be a rounding error of a million shares. And then average true range is uh, 0.5. Now I put a relative. Hey, he did five too. Five, hey, look at that. I did that too. Volume needs to be occurring. Okay, now he's stealing my damn range. scanner. You can up this if you want. Less he's stealing my goddamn scanner. He's telling everybody in the world the about it. That I, would I guess I told everybody in the world about it too, but I just don't have as many viewers. But he's telling the whole world about it. Would have come through today. For me, I would kind of stop trading this after, say, the first hour or so of the yeah. day. I wouldn't it's trade it after after 11 so o'clock. Like, honestly, after 11 o'clock, the strategy right is done. The side. Done. And You're looking for other strategies. Now, what I've done is I've added to this scan what the average true range is because it's simply 10% of that. So that makes our calculation on how to trade it really simple because, again, I highly believe that the outcome of the strategy is so good because of the low risk reward. So let's just draw in some lines here to show you guys what the trades would have been like. First, we have the low of that candle. So this first candle is that five minute opening range. You can see the price that this came out was right here. So it's 57.92, the symbol that gave it to you. So it's right as it breaks this low of the day. Now it comes through and it says eight bucks, that's the ATR. So we want 10% of that. So roughly we want 80 cents. So it's giving to us about $58, give or take. So 58.80 is gonna be our stop loss. Let's just say right up in this area right there. Here's your trigger, there's your stop loss. The sell is at the end of the day and that would happen right here. So 48.50, uh, so you're talking, you made $10, $10 a share, risking sure. $1 a share. That's an amazing eh, you risk two dollars on this particular. Technically, you're giving uh, it up to again, sixty dollars. Great, you know, if you you don't want it to go into sixty and, and then nine take out you out. You so you're giving up sixty. That's you're giving great. it about two dollars, exactly and you get about How ten. So good eight R trade over there. Knowing that paper trading to real life, it's a little bit different, and back testing to real life is a little bit different as well. Well, first of all, me personally, I'd probably crank up the relative volume a little bit higher depending on what you want to see. But also, I would make sure that you're evaluating the higher time frame chart. This is something that's very hard to- Very, very important. You can very important to, to look at the higher chart, time frame chart example, because if the stock, GDP, maybe I should let him finish, but up. if the stock is like, you know, stuck in a goddamn range for years and weeks or months or whatever time frame it is on the on the daily time, and, and you're looking to take the stupid opening range break into the range, that's kind of not the best trade over there. But if it's like breaking down from a, a significant low or breaking out from a significant high, that makes it even better up huge and then it, it was looking like it was closing that gap a uh, very volatile type name so it didn't shock me that this one kind of fell apart entirely and then pushed to new lows but if you're having a stock that's really strong and hitting new highs and then it comes out in the short list maybe you want to remove that as well maybe you want to add filters where you want you know the daily chart to be overbought or oversold or something like that i mm -hmm. would tweak this scan not by tweaking the entry and the stop loss, because I think that's, again, the power of this is looking for that entry and looking for that, that stop loss. What I would tweak personally is I would tweak the selection. My nose is sore, chat. So you're chat. not getting 100 symbols a day. You're getting, you know, four or five. That's and weird. you're adding filters based off what's happening on the daily chart with position and ranges and things like this, just to make sure that you're looking at Ow. names that... Uh, are filtered a little bit names that you would like. You could also feed this scan your own list. For example, if you wanted to scan the night before and you and there's a handful of names that you thought would do really, really well, or if you're scanning in the morning and you're seeing a lot of names that you think could- See also ACD method, what's that? Like that, 
you can maybe we could save that, that for the next stream into this scan and have it spit those out for you so it's the longer term time horizon that i would use to help filter this down and hopefully increase results knowing that you should be doing at least as well as that study showed. That's what I would do. That is what I saw from this study. If you want me to review more studies, whether they're day trading or investing or, or long-term studies, let me know. I'll take a look at them. If there are things that I can test myself that I feel comfortable comfortable doing it, I will go and I will, I will let you know. Trust me. I got your DMs. To you. As always, <laughs> you know, give it a like, give it a share, give it a comment. The algorithm loves that stuff. Thank you guys very much for watching. Go to statsatrading.com and sign up for all the stuff there. And give I'm it a sure like. I gave it a comment. I'm done my job. Now go do your job, ladies and gentlemen. Do give me a like, give me a comment, and all that fun stuff. But that's pretty much all she wrote for today's stream. That's everything, the trade market talk that we have to do for today. But there's one last thing left on the day here. One last 